It is known as one of the best roadside attractions in America. You've taken your children there, you're visiting family members, and you may even stop by for a quick look on your way into Phoenix. It's the Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch. But what happens when one of these friendly ostriches gets loose? Our exclusive interview with owner Bill Logenbeard. Bill, how long has the Rooster Cogburn Ostrich Ranch been here in Picacho Peak? We opened in uh, Picacho Peak in 1993. Prior to that, we were out of Guthrie, Oklahoma since uh, 1986. About how many ostriches are here on your farm? The thing you really want to focus here is, is purebred. Um, we have South African black ostrich. As of um, just a few months ago, we were looking at about 1,476 um, hens laying. So we had about you know that many full bled on our 600 acres. This farm, has it been in your family for generations? Well, about two. You know, we started, like I said, in 1986 in Oklahoma. Um, I took over shortly after them. My father decided he was too old for it about 10 years ago. And so, I mean, we, we've had about two generations, and hopefully my kids will end up taking over someday as well, you know. Has an incident like this ever happened before? No, no. This is our first escapee, if you will, um, ostrich getting away. Um, it, it, it's just never even occurred that it would happen. We, we take, you know, huge safety precautions for these kind of incidents and it's just a shame that it happened, you know. Just a few short days ago at this very ostrich ranch, the unthinkable happened. An ostrich on its very own broke out of its pen and terrorized the citizens of Picacho Peak. When you first heard of the ostrich escape, what did you do? So immediately, you know, we rounded up the other ostrich to make sure that there was no way of getting out of this broken gate and whatever else. And, um, we immediately contacted the authorities and local animal protection and just went from there to make sure that we got the, the situation contained as quick as possible. Have you made any changes to your farm so future events like this will be avoided? We're still in the process of fixing the gate. We are going to reinforce them with electric barbed wiring um, just for the fact that, that we don't want something like this to happen. It's, it's not just going to harm citizens, but we're really more concerned about our ostriches than anything. 